Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is yet another of the uh, mobile suits that has been patched in the last week. Uh, this time we've got the Afrit Schneid, which uh, has gotten, as I recall, slightly improved speed, uh, some more part slots, uh, up the damage on its melee weapon, and also improved the hit detection on both versions of the heat darts. So it should be much easier for it to actually hit things now. And it should be able to do pretty good damage when it does. So, uh, I believe this is the level one. There are a couple of buffs, uh, to, I believe like thruster output that are only, uh, applicable to the higher level, uh, Schneids, but there was a queue for the level one. So I took it and I'm dead. Um, I just went in way too hot against way too many things and it did not work out for me. Which, you know, happens. Um, ah, we're a little bit spread out. Not too much, but the MLRS is a, is kind of off on its own. And as you can see, the Gaplin's kind of coming up behind it, which is not great. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get in there and do something about that, but I'm not sure if I'll make it in time. Well, Gaplin has, or MLRS has so far has plenty of hit points, so. And the Gaplin decided it would rather turn around and kill me, so. And it's got help from its ally, so it will probably manage to do it again. I swear this uh, round gets better, but I am getting a little bit frustrated at this point, which, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I send back me up, but I, um, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit annoying. Uh, well, let's see, the team is, yeah, the team's spread out and getting, uh, 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 getting wiped. We, you know, we lost the first wipe is what that amounts to, which I'm pretty sure is what I was telling myself at the time. Patience, Rob, this just means we lost the first wipe. Cause yeah, you know, just ha half, half of this game is learning to manage your frustration. Um, yeah, I'm sending bunch up now cause we really do need to, but I'm going to try since number one seems to be looking to base bomb. I am going to, uh, I'm going to uh, try and support them a little bit and get back in my mobile suit. So, ah, got at least one. That's not bad. It's something at least. Uh, but yeah, um, ah, man, uh, I'm the, I actually do qualify in one of my accounts for the new promotion level, and it requires you to have been at some point a plus on either ground or space. I have never been on my U.S. account, which is the one where I have the points to uh, get this. So I've been trying to uh, trying to uh, run some rounds in raided, and I should have known ages ago that you know the secret to the secret to enjoying raided is not having to take it seriously. If you ha uh, have to take it seriously for some reason, you're gonna hate it. So you know, but you're I did get. I, I had a few good rounds here and there, and I should have one of them up later, so... Uh, not later today, but later this week, you get it. Um, but, let's see. Uh, number one finally got that uh, bomb planted, and we're actually doing fairly well for being, you know, a little bit spread out and a little bit undermanned, so that is, uh, that is not terrible. I was hoping I could stop that uh, Beam Bazooka GPO-2 in place. If I can get around its shield... I can do a lot of damage to it. Luckily, I do have the shotgun to hold it in place. And I didn't get the full damage of the uh, spin, but I did manage to hit it with the front, uh, with the first and last part of it. Because those are the parts that went around the shield. Yeah, shotgun's reloaded, so I should be able to finish this off relatively easily. Yeah, that time I managed to uh, position the, uh, the downswing more uh, accurately. And that is a... Sisqueed, Siscudo, however you want to go with that. Uh, Demolition Hound was pointing out in the comments to uh, that video that uh, there is a companion mobile suit to this called uh, uh, the Despada, which is uh, basically a combination of the Italian words for uh, uh, right hand and sword. So right sword and left shield. Uh, which, since it has that nice eye field, that it makes sense that it would be the left shield. But uh, yeah, it's it's a thing. Uh, and I'm dead again. But uh, and number one is trying to get out of the corner now uh, in a uh, tank. So, but I'm gonna probably 
think I was hoping to jump back in until somebody else was in their mobile suit, because it's just like two people, but really kind of need to try and help those two people so we can keep that lead. So I cannot do that now because I was hesitating a little bit too much. But right now, just going to... Uh, Kind of just hoping to, ow, lead things on, but as you can see, got heavy staggered by the GPO-2BB, and man, this this round felt more uh, felt more productive when I was doing it. I am spending an awful lot of time dead. And there's that uh, I field, uh, unfortunately for the uh, Sisqueed, there is not a single beam weapon on this thing. So now. Let's see, was hoping to get that Stark Jagan. Somebody else got it. That is perfectly fine as long as it's got. Let's see, that thing missed me entirely. However, whatever was behind me did not. So let's see what we got. I bet it was, yep, the uh, my counterpart, the other Ifrit Schneid. So as I, as I recall, our team compositions are relatively similar, but. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It also has, uh, I think it only has Force Injector level 2 at higher levels. I may be misremembering. No, I think it did get Force Injector at all levels, which makes it just that much more maneuverable. Just being able to change direction and get out of things way is important. Tried to hit it with the big volley. Did not do. Let's see, and we've got a whole chain of people. Uh, a whole chain of people not watching their backs, of which I was first in line. Um, I did not land my uh, my dart. I did land my shotgun, though, and that was enough to kill it. And we are finally starting to pull ahead a little bit here. So, yeah. Right now, I'm not... Oh, yeah. I'm checking with uh, basically, yeah, hanging near whoever's at the point because I don't want them to get caught out alone. Uh, unfortunately, that means number one might, but... Okay, there is the Gaplin. I can do major damage to that. Especially if it wastes its tackle on me and somebody hits it from behind. Man, I would love to spin uh, spin at it, but don't want to hurt my ally. And then my ally blew up, so... Uh, you know, best laid plans, etc. Uh, there is the... Uh, uh, the unpronounceable once again. And at the moment... Yep, like I said, I there is not a single uh, beam weapon in uh, my inventory. I, you know, this thing is basically souped up uh, a, a souped up Xeon old stock from the One Year War, and it is uh, just yeah, it it does not have a single beam to its name. So, uh, but yeah, I died an awful lot, but I think I did fairly well. I think I did a lot of damage. We'll see why I decided to save this shortly because I did. And I'd love to know why. Looks like we're going to win it, though, so that is good. And let's see how I actually did, because I'm not at all sure. Uh, let's see. Success, and... Yeah, I got top score on 87,000 damage. For as much as I died, I, you know, I gave as good as I got, I suppose. Um, we'll get to see the final kill-death count in a second. Six and five, yeah, I gave almost exactly as good as I got, but we won it. I did a fair amount of damage and fought a fair amount of things, so uh, hopefully, you know, if uh, you give it a try, you can do better, but that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Yeah, there's still a few things on the list I haven't gotten a uh, round with, but uh, I've got at least one more done for uh, for uh, patched suits, and that should probably be up tomorrow.